Hey folks, welcome to the Chartbuster series brought to you by Nice Software Solutions. In this series, we will be exploring multiple chart types, their use cases, and build them using different business intelligence tools. Did you ever think of representing numbers that will not just make the analysis quick and simple, but will also work faster than writing out words or figures? Well, it is possible. And let me tell you how. In this video, we will be creating a tally chart using Tableau. A tally chart is used to record data as it is counted. The data here is represented in groups of five to make it easy to compute the totals when the count is finished. This chart is majorly used to display actual occurrences or statistical counts. Let me explain this to you with the help of a demonstration. Assume that I wish to see the quantity of top 10 products sold in the latest year. So here, I will create a tally chart to display the situation. Before going to Tableau, we need to prepare an Excel sheet, just as shown on the screen. This provides value for path and position to create the sticks in our tally chart by joining with our actual data. Here we have kept a maximum value of 100. You can also change it according to the count range in your data. Now let us start building the chart in Tableau. Let's connect to Sample Superstore dataset. This dataset is provided by default when we install Tableau. From Sample Superstore, I will drag Auto Sheet. Add a new connection and locate the Data Densification Excel sheet. This will create a cross database join between Sample Superstore and Densification Sheet. However, as there are no common columns in our sheets, we get an error that shows the join has no join clauses. To add a cross join, click Add New Join Clause, select Create Join Calculation, type 1 and click OK. Similarly, add 1 as the joining clause for the second data source. This join densifies your data that is used to position the sticks. Let's go to Sheet 1. Drag and drop the product name to the row shelf. Let us add order date to filter shelf. Select years and click next. Here check filter to latest date value when workbook is opened and click OK. This will only filter the product sold in the latest year. Now drag product name to filter shelf. Select top tab. Choose the buy field radio button. Keep the default value of 10 in the value field. Select quantity from the buy drop down. Click OK. This will generate top 10 products based on the total quantity sold across all years. To filter the top 10 products for the latest year, we need to add your filter to the next context. Right click on the year filter and click add to context. The year context filter will pass only relevant values to the product name filter, which in turn will give the top 10 products based on the quantity sold. Now from the mark shelf, we will change the mark type to line. Next I want to know the quantity of the sales for each product. To do so, I will create a calculated field index and type the formula as shown on the screen. This calculated field computes the value of index for each product based on their quantity. Then it compares the same with the maximum quantity across all the products to provide the indexes till the quantity of each product is calculated. Right click on path measure, select create, bins. Provide a suitable bin name and set the bin size as 1. Now drag and drop this path that is bin to detail. Drag index to columns. Right click on the index pill. Select compute using and click on path bin. Drag positions to the rows and right click the positions pill and convert it to a dimension. This will generate a single stick from minus 1 to 1 for every product. Now to get the diagonal lines, let us use the following formula for X position calculated field. This calculated field will identify all the multiples of 5 and calculate their positions on X axis to plot the slant lines. Let us consider first 5 lines of product. 
position of the slant lines are 0.7 and minus 1, 4.3 and 1 for x-axis and y-axis respectively. Replace index with x positions on columns. Right click the x position, select compute using and click on path bin. To filter out the null values, select filter data. Select entire view. The tally chart is now ready. Some of the applications of tally chart can be the count of post animals, represent seed count of an election and to visualize showbiz data. If you would like to make tally chart on your business data, contact us today. To get notified about new charts, click the bell icon and do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.